Good morning, it's Chilli Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland coming to you with an acrylic pour today. Um, I had something in my head that I just needed to get onto the canvas. Whether it works or not is a different story. But you know what, you've got to give it a go and I feel that it's important that I show you the good with the bad. So if you have an idea and it doesn't work, there's something that you may be able to do to help it and sometimes there isn't. So we'll see how we go with this one. The colour that I'm putting on my base is called um, Tahiti and I didn't show you the Tahiti but it's called Tahiti and I dulled it down a bit with more white so it's kind of very very pale peppermint. The colour that I'm putting on there is called Wicca and I haven't used this colour much but boy I am so glad because it's um you will see it's a really nice colour with that end of the painting. So I will just let you watch me load the colours. Well, that was a cool red that I popped on there and now this is a mix that I mixed up myself which it actually was cool green a very pale green and I added phalo blue to it and it had got some of my pearl mist in so it's got their really nice iridescent. Now this one is my um, champagne my sparkling champagne that I make myself out of 50% gold 50% metallic silver makes a gorgeous gorgeous champagne color and I'm just putting in some white there and I'm gonna see what I can do with this So what I'm showing you here is that in that bottle is Amsterdam Black mixed with Aussie Floetrol only. So I'm doing a swipe line um, and I'm hoping for some really nice cells. My goodness, that plane's very low. Um, and I get some absolutely brilliant cells from this swipe. It is just gorgeous. I will bring you down for a close-up because my camera never shows how gorgeous they are. But um, soon, soon. This was just a madcap idea that I kind of, in my head, I was going to create some sort of leaves and it was to be just minimalistic. But of course, I just added too much paint and um, it wasn't minimalistic. This alone would be a really nice mix of colours, which was that green that I made up with the cool green and phalo blue and that is my champagne gold. Um, but together with my very colourful uh, bottom end, it kind of, um, I'm not sure. You let me know what you think and we'll go from there.
Okay, do you see what I mean? It's kind of a bit of an hodgepodge. It's um, the bottom doesn't go with the top unless I um, do some changes, but still haven't finished yet. So we'll plod on with it. Next part, I'm going to do my balloon kisses in this gorgeous colorful area. I'm gonna transfer the balloon kisses onto this, um, <coughs> It's a tapas, a tapas plate for Christmas. So it has uh, cocktail sticks. You put your cocktail sticks in there as shown. So um, with the food on it, but what I'm going to do, so there's the cocktail sticks. So they're in those little holes. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to jazz this up with the balloon transfer kisses onto there. When it's fully dry, I'll just resin my tapas. The food isn't going to sit on this, it's going to sit in the cocktail stick, so it won't matter. I'm going to keep it to the side because I don't think I'll get the whole thing in. I will try show you, so I'm going to move it across. <clears throat> I'm just going to put a piece of card because I don't want the bottom of this collecting all the <coughs> colour. But there's so much lovely colour on there to use so I'm gonna um, take advantage of that and transfer the balloon kisses what I would normally just wipe off onto this um, little duvet. I'll start with this balloon I might need a smaller balloon we'll just give it a go there's a balloon kiss so I will put on Keep, probably only do one kiss onto the timber thing because it'll just so it's just transferring the, the kisses. Just um, put in a bit of nice embellishment on my little tapas plate. Tapas, tapas. It's gorgeous. It kind of is, it was an experiment from my head, it's something I had in my head, but it kind of looks like two different um, paintings, like this, sh this should be meant as something else. Um, so I'm not too thrilled with that, but I'll just stand back and have a look at it before I go scraping it and um, see if there's anything I can possibly do to sort of bring it back to um, looking like it belongs together. But I'm not sure about that. <laughs> if I've um, if I'd have stuck to the same colours, I was kind of trying to get a leafy... I don't know what I was trying to get. I just had something in my mind. <clears throat> and you just have to try them sometimes. So that's kind of getting two pieces of art out of the one. I don't think I need any more. Um, yeah, it definitely kind of looks like two separate pieces, so I'm not sure whether. Well, there you go, there's my little tapas Christmas tree. So I'll just let that dry and then I'll just give it a, a coat of resin. I've got a few things to resin, so I'll just, it'll be only take a tiny little bit um, and I'll go over that and it just just adds something a little bit brighter to the um, Christmas table. So I'll just pop that over there because I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, definitely, I maybe should have kept the bottom. I don't know, there's a lot of things I should have done but I didn't. 
so it kind of looks like two um, the only thing I'm thinking that I could do when it's dry is making the uh, blacking in the bottom so it looks like a, it's a, va a vase, a vase with these leaves in it. So I could do that like a vase shape, cutting in, just blacking in a vase shape so it looks like my vase with these leafy. <clears throat> they both look lovely but they don't look as though they're meant to go together. So I tried what was in my head, but it didn't work, but that definitely those bottom colorful bits are just stunning. I'll bring the camera down and give you a quick look. Okay, look at this, absolutely stunning, stunning colorful cells. That was, um, the colours I laid are all global colours mixed with my normal pouring medium and the black was the uh, Amsterdam black with Floetrol um, and that is what gives it that lacing. But I have mixed my black global paint with the Floetrol and it's given a, a similar effect, so there you go. But look at this, wow. So yes, now it looks the odd part. That looks nice on its own, um, but it kind of looks weird together. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Any help, any suggestion? It'll obviously be too late when you guys get on because it'll be dry if I haven't already um, decided to do something else with it. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow, so I'd like you guys <coughs> to take care of yourselves and um yeah please join me tomorrow thanks so much bye for now